Hello, welcome to Unisport Learning Made Easy. In today's topic, we will talk about different types of the skeletal system based on their nature and their existence. Not all the skeletons are rigid. Many invertebrate groups use their body fluids as the internal tissue that is the, is the core component of their skeleton. And this type of the skeletons are generally known as hydrostatic skeletons. Muscles in the body wall of the earthworm is a typical example of this hydrostatic skeleton. This type of the skeleton does not have a firm base for the attachment of the muscles. Uh, rather, the muscles are present in the groups in the form of the groups of longitudinal circular muscles, and they contract against an incompressible fluid, body fluid, present con and confined within a body cavity, surrounded by a, a tension-resistant body wall. So these are the uh, hydrostatic skeleton and from the definition of this hydrostatic skeleton we came to know that there are three major components which must have to be present for the normal functioning of a hydrostatic skeleton. That includes a fluid filled core, it could be blood, water or some fats and then it must have a tension resistant body wall, it means that the body wall should be so stiffer and strong that as a result of uh, excessive pressure put on the fluids, it does not expand. And thirdly, the group of the longitudinal circular muscles must be present. So overall, the hydrostatic skeleton of the invertebrates is an ex excellent example of the adaptation of the major body functions to this simple but efficient principle of hydrodynamics, use of the internal pressures of the body fluids. One example of the animals which uses the hydrostatic skeleton is the hydra, which has a simple body shape uh, and body is a cylinder like and it has a pair of the circular and longitudinal muscles. There you see the longitudinal sections or transfer section of the animal body and around the, around the whole animal tissue under, just underneath their dermis, they present the rings of the circular muscles and their pair of a longitudinal muscles within along the lining of the gastrointestinal or gastrovascular cavity. And on the apical end, just behind the tentacles. So this is the apical mouth of the animal. Once the longitudinal muscles contract, it closes the mouth and confines the water within those cavities and once the circular muscles contract they put extra pressure on those internal fluids and hence the body becomes uh, stiffer and elongated and once it has to open its mouth the longitudinal muscles relax and circular muscles contract that results into the opening of the body and expulsion of the water out of the animal body the second major typical example of the hydrostatic skeleton is the movement in the earthworms and we know that the earthworm body is divided into different segments. Each segment has its own septa which enables the animal to confine their body fluids within each segment. So the mechanism of their movement starts from the apical end from where the first few segments start compressing their circular muscles and hence putting some excessive pressure on the internal confined fluid which results into the elongation of those segments and those segments move ahead. Then these segments have those uh, bristle-like setae on, uh, underneath the body which attaches to the substrate to uh, avoid drifting of the animal body backwards. And this ex expansion of the segment movement moves behind to the adjacent segments in the form of the wave and they start expanding. Uh, at the same time, the segments at the apical end starts contracting and hence pulling the animal body in the forward direction. And this complete movement goes from the front end to the back end of the animal body and hence the whole animal body is shifted from one place to another place. So hydrostatic skeleton is another uh, variation where th only the internal fluid is replaced by some type of the specific tissue which is incompressible. It could be some fat or adipose tissues or it could be some muscular tissues. And hence, uh, due to this fact, those type of the hydrostatic skeletons are known as muscular hydrostat and a typical example is the elephant trunk. Here you see the cross section of the animal trunk, it has the whole cavity which is filled by the muscles and those muscles are arranged in a particular fashion and then it has a resistant wall around those trunk and once these muscles contract in the multiple uh, locations and in a particular fashion the trunk can be moved in 360 degrees wherever the animal requires.
so hence the complex movements are the result of the complex arrangements of the muscles within the animal body and the other examples of the muscular hydrostat is our tongue or the human tongue reptilian tongue amphibian tongue and also the uh, tentacles of these cephalopods okay that was about the type of the uh, soft skeletons and then we move so if you like the video give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so and if you have any comment any question please leave it in the comment section